Everybody, welcome back for a, another video on my Chanel. I know it's been a while since I've filmed a video. I haven't fully decided on my planning system for next year, for 2024, but I wanted to share a video of what I have been using for the last few months, the last at least you know, towards the end of October, November, and what I will be using through December. Um, so, I've got a couple of notebooks here, a planner pouch, and this has the main planner in my system. I have considerably sized down from the um, system I had at the beginning of the year that I I did a Techo Kaigi last year for... Um, Twitch, and I think they're going to be doing them again this year, but with my Nutcracker schedule and everything, I won't be able to participate in that this year because last year we did them in October, uh, and I think that's because so many people in the planner community on Twitch use Hobonichis and other things like that, and the releases had just happened, so... Um, <clears throat> So let's take a look at what I have here. So let's go planner first. I've, I've been in a process this year of downsizing my collection, downsizing my stash, and only using like things that I have on hand and, um, and only using like my favorites. Um, like I've de-stashed, uh, I've de-stashed some Traveler's Notebooks, an actual Traveler's Company and Midori ones. Um, I've de-stashed some wing planners. I have a huge stack of things to go through that I want to de-stash. And I've even de-stashed, you know, colored pencils and art supplies and paints and, um, uh, a lot I've given away, um, and, and when I when I talk about my art supplies, um, I have a, a friend that has a daughter with um, some disabilities, and she loves to color and paint. And I had a 100 set of Crayola pencils that I got and used to do some pumpkins, and then they just sat. And so I gave those, and I had like this the Crayola you know, skin color sets of pencils and crayons and watercolors and other things. And I was like, you know what? My friend's daughter will love these things. So they all went there and they are happily being used. Um, and I've sent some other watercolors and things to friends that I know that a certain brand that I have is their favorite set and I'm not using it and haven't used them in years. So, it's, you know, it's been one of those seasons that I'm in. You could say this this time in my life has I've been downsizing. Even my music, I've downsized a large collection of music that I, I found a home for and I still have other things that I'm going through that I want to tighten up my collection um like i've even been going through my old cds and um i was going through my some of my favorite james galway recordings and you know i still have a cd player and it sits here on the the desk and um so i've been rediscovering because I, I have thousands of cds so this is um an Atelier's Penelope pouch, and I have had this for years. I think I got it in 2017 or 2018. I did uh, an unboxing video of it. If I can find that video, I mean, it was years ago. I'll either link it in the little info box or down below. Um, and I got it from Baum Kuhen. So let's pull out to see which cover uh, notebook I have in here and it is this and most of you are looking at it going well what is that I, I've never seen anything like that um, it is an old let me get it so you can see foxy 
Fix. This is an old Foxy Fix. Um, my favorite with Foxy Fix was their single elastic. Uh, when they originally were making the single elastics, because of the size, it's a Traveler's Factory uh, Midori type size, they would call this a 6.0. And then if you had the one that had four elastics, this is originally, they called that one a 6.5, meaning it was this was a six and then a 6.5 was just a little bit larger, but I loved their single elastic. I've got quite a few of these. I ended up selling my original one that wasn't a Foxy. Uh, well, it, it was Kelly Strong Designs. Someone wanted it and, and I wasn't using it and I wasn't planning on using it anytime soon. And so it it's made its way to someone that I know loves it. Um, but this is a leather that they called Rowena. I have uh, a passport in this leather as well. Um, and it's beautiful. Um, I've had this, goodness gracious, I got this in like 2019 maybe. So it is a red leather and it's very similar to the old Chic Sparrow leather the one that they called the Jitney Red. Um, and it has this incredible patina on it right now. I have another one that is the that I got in 2016 that has the four elastics that has like their card slotted pockets. I liked their single, they called this a single couture because it had pockets, secretarial pockets, and this pocket here in the front and the back. And that is more than enough for me. So what we have in here, I have some old stickers from randy.plans. I got these pre-COVID and never used them. Um, remember when this planning style was very popular, like these nude stickers, there were other companies doing it like, um, oh, that one in, they have like a penspiration box and stuff. Um, I got these stickers when that sort of neutral planning system was popular. I have some wonderful stickers here from Florence that live life and create. I've almost used up those, but don't worry, I have more. And this is the um, 10th anniversary uh, writing board from Traveler's Company. It's such a pretty one that I thought it would be nice in the front. It gives it a little more structure, but I also then have a, a writing board. And in the back pocket, let's just do that. This is the Foxy Fix card that came with this. And then I have a little Kermit drinking some tea. <laughs> so I like that. I keep the business card in there just to, you know, have it. And then I have my very first Traveler's Notebook Company. It's the old one where it says Midori um, from 2015. I've got another one of these and I really, I really like these. They're, they're cute. And I keep it in the back. I know it's silly to have two writing boards, but I like it. So I've been using these three inserts for the better part of a year, at least half a year. Like this, the weekly insert I started using in June. Just this one insert. This monthly calendar I reprinted in the summer. And then this is a um, grid uh, notes book that I use for ideas and stuff like that. And, old post-its and flags that I need to reuse. Um, so I try to keep it simple and didn't really decorate much. This is one of my covers with some washi tape from um, my Patreon. So let's take a look at the inserts. Oh, the original Grumpy Bear, guys. I feel like I'm Grumpy Bear. So we, we keep him present. Okay, we'll put him in the front. Um, and I'm even using like my old Ollie clips. These are Ollie clips that I got in like 2015, maybe. Um, they're the ones that they, I got them online on Etsy when they first created their Etsy. But these are the ones 
that you could get at the container store. And I'm still using them. They work great. But what we have in here is, this is from Ray Blake, My Life All in One Place. It's his monthly diary, 2023 to 2024. When I started the year, I was using my own calendars and I had printed them on like 52 GSM Tomoe Ripper paper. I, I like Tomoe Ripper paper and I don't like Tomoe Ripper paper. And it's because of the pen that you have to use on it. And about halfway through March, getting close to April, I was so sick and tired of the paper that I ripped out all of my inserts, my own that I designed and created, and I just wanted something simple that I could print on just regular copy paper so I could use any pen, that I didn't have to worry about um, it drying or um, bleeding through or smudging or anything like that. And I think that's where I'm gonna continue. I have so much Midori MD paper and um, uh, Tomoe River paper, but I'm just, I'm, I understand why people like it. I just, I don't want to focus so much on the paper and the pen I got to use or the um, blotting paper that I've got to put in. I just want to be able to use a pen, write something down, flip a few pages, and close my planner. I don't want to have to wait, <laughs> in, in, in other words. So this is just a monthly calendar. It starts in 2023. And I keep track of my performing schedule, my teaching schedule at the beginning of the year now that I've uh, retired from teaching. Um, June, July, August was a slim month, which was nice. And then the beginning of busyness happened. This was the last month, October. Here we are in November. And I just use little post-it notes. These are from, um, what's her name? Peanuts Planner Co. And these are the free, like, monthly bill tracker that I just print on a um, post-it note and then slap in my calendar. And I even use these to keep track of the music that I need to perform that month. Um, here we are for December. I've got the little blue dots for when Hanukkah is, and I have my, my start for my bills and movie music that I've got to play and Nutcracker and church stuff, just so I have a little guide of what's coming up. And then, this calendar from Ray Blake also has 2024. You'll see it has all of 2023 and 2024. So I'm going to continue to use this calendar through all of next year. I printed it. I have it. Might as well use it. And you'll see it goes all the way through December of 2024 and then there's a couple of like blank notes pages at the end <clears throat> now what i've been using for the weekly here let me put my ollie clip back here we are november what i've been using for the weekly this is a marcia bramucci um it has the yearly overview, and then it has a week on a page and grid. And this it's kind of like the um, original Midori like this. A lot of people call it the Hobonichi Weeks, but I first encountered this system in an undated Midori Traveler's Company insert. You got the week on a page and then grid. And this has been my planning insert, one like this since... 2013, 2014, I've printed my own, I've used Marsha's, I've used DIY Fish, I've used, what was it, Paper and Cats, um, I think it, she used to be called Frizzle Made, um, 
and so I have my appointments and some daily things here and then I use this for like weekly to do and notes some weeks I use it a lot some weeks I don't like this is the end of August it wasn't much happening that week and you'll see all I did was use pen I used my favorite brown pen Pentel Ener gel I think they call it sepia now here we are in um, the end of September I did use some stickers and some post-its and used a there and there's another one of my Ollie clips. I got some new ink. Wanted to try them with two new pens. Here's my um music from October. This is actually supposed to go in the monthly, but we'll keep it here. And you'll see just using pen, pen, there was another for October, the music. Here we are at the end of October. And then some of my Patreon stickers. They get um, different tiers, get different things, but all tiers get the um, digital sticker sheets that they can then print and cut them out on any paper or sticker paper they want. Here's some more of the stickers for the month. Let's see. This is one of my favorite ones. <clears throat> and here we are this week uh, with Thanksgiving and with um, some of my stickers. Something that I have discovered are Jelly Roll makes clip pens and they have a couple of different sets. And I bought one of the sets that is more me than the others. It came with two blue and two black. Um, I think the husband has one of the blues. Um, and it's just, you know, your general blue and black pen that people use. But then it also came with three glitter pens and three metallic pens. And what is so great is they're just a little, like you would look at them and think, it's a regular jelly roll. You pull this off and the ink is under there, but actually it isn't. If you look, you just push here and this end comes out. And they're, they're lots of fun. And so I've been using this one this week, the black jelly roll. And yes, I did micro passport two versions pocket. I just have to finish the standard for next month for my patrons. And so you can see what it looks like plain week on a page with grid. And so I have this for the remainder of the year. <clears throat> and I will be using my version for next year. I think I have Marsha's. I think when I bought this in the middle of the year, she also had 2024 with it. So I might use Marsha's for next year, but I will be uploading my version of this insert for Patreon. And, it, and hers has like all of this stuff at the end, which I don't really use these calendars that much, but I do know people use them for tracking like days that they walk or work or work out or things like that so mine is much more basic than this it's just the week and then dot grid and then the last thing we have is we have oh here's some of my sticker sheets these are what um patrons get these are the smaller ones and then you also get these in like half letter size these are like four of these make up a, a piece of letter paper so you see there's some pumpkin ones and these are some treats and and um if you have a silhouette you can you know the files work really great with that or um like me i have a silhouette but I, it needs to be recalibrated and ugh, it's a mess so i just cut them out with some little fine detail stickers and put them in my planner in my in my journal so those are fun 
And then the last thing in here is a grid insert where I just keep track of notes. And I want to do micro done, passport done, pocket TN. Okay. And then I have some of these really pretty page flags here in the back. I guess I could put them in here like this. And that's what I have in my Traveler's Notebook. I did, here are the, the Jelly Roll pens. Here's the black, the blue. You can see that these three here, the purple, blue, and pink, are the glitter. And then this like bluish, silver, purple, and green are the metallic. Lots of fun. So this is my planner, like my main planner that I've been using the last at least six months. And I haven't really shared it. I mean, it's been in different covers, but those three inserts are the ones that I've really been using most. Um, I did start the year in a um, passport, but I, I stopped using the passport when I started carrying a Nano or a Mini. This is a Bassi & Co. And this is in the olive, their olive leather, which it's, it's very similar design to that of a um, Chic Sparrow. And in it, I have my monthly calendar. I just updated this little micro size for 2024. That will be going up in December on Patreon. And it's just a little monthly calendar with two pages of dot grid and then a month on two pages. And because it is so tiny, um, instead of making these boxes even smaller, if the end of the month is on like the Monday through Tuesday of like say a fifth week, I just put them up at the top because it seems silly to cut those boxes in half or to make all of these boxes smaller in order to fit a fifth row. And you'll see like here with November, and then December. So, and then I, in the end, this has two elastics, this Bassy & Co. I've got a dot grid notebook of mine where I just keep track of things, books, notes, ideas. Uh, there's a grocery list and what, what we spend, to-dos, and I cross them out when they're done. You know, that, that type of stuff. And then in the back, I keep cash and AAA and my voter registration and insurance cards. So once I started carrying one of these for my wallet, I didn't need the passport anymore because I had my tiny on-the-go calendar so I could, you know, check my dates if someone asked me something when I was out. And then I even had a dot grid for notes. And then I have, of course, my IDs and such, and cash and whatever I need. So this so much more compact than a passport and just as functional for me. Now, the one thing that surprised me the most is I did start out in my Slimbo this year, and I put it away for a while, and I brought it back out when they started to make a sketchbook. This is 100 GSM. Uh, it's not quite off-white, and it's it's like a natural or a neutral white paper. It's not cream, um, but it's not like a bright white. Um, so they brought this sketchbook, and so I've started using it. Now those markers I use tend to bleed through everything, but but I wanted to you know test it with a bunch of different art supplies. Like that's an aquarelle, Stabilo. And then I even did a little pen test of different highlighters and pens. And there I did the jelly rolls here. 
fountain pen ink. Arteza real brush pens. Those don't bleed through. They ghost a little, but you know, for an on-the-go sketchbook, this is perfect size. And then I've been actually using it also to do a little bit of daily journaling. Or if not daily, you know, like this was today's. I was playing with those pens. And I just keep little, I put little stickers down, some colored pencils. Um, we got some milk chocolate gelt the other day at the store, so I wanted to keep that little tabby. So I've actually been using this for journaling. Yeah, I filled up one of these last month for, you know, daily journaling. And I did do some arting in it, um, but so I'm keeping one for journaling and one as like a little sketchbook just for like ideas when I'm out and about. And then the only other thing that I've been using is this little pen pouch. It is a La Heat Lab. It's their Smart Fit. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, their Smart Fit. And it's in my favorite olive color. And I just have some of my um, favorite pens and pencils that I use. Um, I have a tool ballpoint pen. This is the pen I keep on hand when someone wants to borrow a pen so I don't um, loan them one of my favorite ones and not get it back. I have the, the two mild liners I use, the brown and the olive. I've got a couple of pencils here. This is a Neek Pro. This is the Neek Pro I did a video on a few few weeks ago. If someone wants to borrow a pencil, this is the one I give them. It's a mechanical Ticonderoga. I do have a couple more pencils. This one is just a little mechanical pencil, really light. And then this is an old Bats Maru pencil I forgot I had, so I wanted to put it in my pen pouch. And then my favorite pens, this is a um, Uni Pure Malt, but it has a Pentel Energel brown link in it. This is a brown Pentel Energel. I think this one has black ink in it. This is a Pentel Energel Klena with brown ink. You can see I have a theme. And then the last pen I have in here is a Fude uh, pen. It's um, all um, stainless steel, and I have a a brown ink in it. It's a fun pen. Mainly I use it for art, but it is great for writing. You can vary the um, thickness of the your strokes. So this is what I've been using. And I mean, I haven't really posted anything because, you know, it's that once you post <laughs> something, if you do YouTube or, um, Instagram or anything like that, all of a sudden it changes. But I have been in this for months. This size for the year and this for, you know, over half a year. And it seems to be working for me and that's where I am right now. I mean, if I change, I'm not gonna get upset. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, sell everything and, and then go back and I'm not gonna do any of that stuff, but, but this is where I am and this is what is working. Um, this mainly stays at home um, because I'm not, you know, leaving the house to do teaching at the university, so I don't need to take it with me. And that's why I, I opted for something smaller like this. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed a little tour of what I have been using and what have been some of my favorites. Um, it's, it's always very similar for me, and that's why I tended to make fewer videos this year because I was enjoying what I was using and, you know, not much changed. So I didn't feel the need for, you know, videos. I wasn't trying rings, I wasn't trying discs, I wasn't trying, you know, all of the things. I was just very content 
with my system. And I'm still very content with my system. This is what I'm going to be using moving forward, I think. We'll see. I mean, things things could change, but this is where my intentions are now because I'm just, I'm really happy with this system and it's working for me with, with my schedule right now. And I don't foresee a need for, you know, throwing a curveball in, into my system. So there we are. Um, I will try to link things. Um, a lot of the things though, like the Foxy Fix and stuff, I can't because... You know, they don't exist anymore, but all of the things I can link, I will try to do so. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.